the question of how many discrete sources, multipoints, are required to transform a planar vortex into a toroidal field, touches simultaneously on field theory, topology, and the structure of multipole expansions. While it is tempting to interpret increasing numbers of discrete sources as progressively closing a vortex into a toroidal configuration, this intuition obscures a fundamental topological distinction. In this work, we argue that no finite number of multipoints can generate a true toroidal field. Toroidal fields are characterized by closed circulation around a non-simply connected domain and cannot be realized through any finite superposition of point-like sources or finite order multipole moments. Instead, toroidal structure emerges only in the continuous limit, corresponding either to an infinite multipole expansion or to the explicit inclusion of toroidal moments in extended field descriptions. As a result, the transition from planar vortex behavior to toroidal topology is not sharply defined. Toroidalness is an emergent, scale-dependent property rather than a discrete phase change. This perspective clarifies common ambiguities in numerical simulations and theoretical constructions and highlights the necessity of topological criteria when classifying vortex and field configurations. The question of how many discrete sources, multipoints, are required to transform a planar vortex into a toroidal field touches simultaneously on field theory, topology, and the structure of multipole expansions. While it is tempting to interpret increasing numbers of discrete sources as progressively closing a vortex into a toroidal configuration, this intuition obscures a fundamental topological distinction. In this work, we argue that no finite number of multipoints can generate a true toroidal field. Toroidal fields are characterized by closed circulation around a non-simply connected domain and cannot be realized through any finite superposition of point-like sources or finite order multipole moments. 